story was the night before Christmas. So the night before Christmas, when all through Patch's restaurant, not a customer was stirring, not even Bob. No. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon was cooking on the stove with care and hope that Isu soon would be there. <laughs> the employees was nestled or snug in their beds while visions of Chichi danced in our heads. <laughs> Mama in her apron and I in my cap lay our heads down for a quick nap. When out in the parking lot there arose such a clatter, I ran from the counter to see what was the matter. <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flash, or opened the door and threw up the sash. The moon of the sky of a new fallen mist gave the luster of midday to objects below. What to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature hummer and eight hungry customers. <laughs> With a little jolly driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Ron. <laughs> His course they came, he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Charlie, now David, now Steve, on Vince, on Dennis, on Gordon, on Joe and Richard. <laughs> In a flash they all ran to the front of the door. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As they walked to the dining room to their favorite chair, Isu said, Juanita soon will be there. <laughs> Most of the orders she already knew, and she would bring them hot coffee too. And I told her their toast, and I told her their toast, and was turning around. Jack Harris said his toast is too brown. <laughs> Everyone was eating when Mikey came in and said, Hey, Mom, I have, can I have another 10? <laughs> um, Mikey was in his regular gear and was also wearing his headphones in his ears. For a big guy so light on his feet, we all knew he came to get something to eat. Brad woke up from his nap and started to cook, and Mary came in and grabbed her book. As we started our morning for a busy day, I heard Isu say as she walked through the hallway, have a great day and a Merry Christmas to you all. Yeah. Yeah.